Hello everyone. This is my updated magnetic heater video. Um, I like to show everyone how this works here and let you see the electrical specs and the temperature, how fast this thing climbs. It can get up to 300 degrees in you know, less than 45 seconds. I do not have a stopwatch or anything so you'll have to count it when I start it. But I'll show you a little bit about it. This was my original design, which, you know, it's a quarter inch line coming in. The water comes in, circles around through the water pressure, and then comes out at the bottom. So the temperature I estimated at 55 degrees coming in, and the output brought it up to 80 degrees, and that's just constant water running through it. But let me show you the motor. The motor design is a half horsepower motor which can run off of 120 volt or 208 or 240 volt but the best savings for amperage is the 208 which draws 3.5 amps that would be the best savings for this but let me go ahead and start this up and I'm going to show you the temperature of how fast this thing climbs the magnets inside, I pretty much got it perfected design here. You know, this spins at 3500 RPMs and it heats up very fast. But let me show you my amp draw and the temperature here. Okay, I'm fixing to start it up. All right, it's at 65 degrees now with zero amps. Now I'm going to start it up and start your clock and watch how fast this thing uh, heats up. Here we go. It's now running. My amp draw 12.2. It keeps going down as it heats up. So you can see how fast it's heating up. The temperature is unbelievable. Spinning freely. No vibrations, and we're already at 230 degrees. And the temperature will continue to climb and will not stop until the motor is shut off. This copper will end up glowing red if I keep this going. See, we're down to 10 amps. And as I said, it, the more it heats up, the less an amp draws it pulls. And 208 is the better voltage. See, as you can see, we're up to 330 degrees now. And this thing is pretty hot. So I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. As you can see, 361 degrees. It heated up very fast. Now, when I have water flowing through this, it still heats up pretty good and heats the water up to 80 degrees but if it's a recirculating water to the same loop you can make an awesome heater out of this like your car and this is my other little design here which is it uses copper fins I didn't finish the design yet but the copper fins is brazed on the copper and it goes all the way across which you can hook up your motor. It has a little shaft, half inch shaft. You can just hook up your motor to spin it and it will do and accomplish the same thing as this one does. 300 degrees and 45 seconds. And it'll keep going until you shut the motor off. Well, that's my specs. Let me know what you think.